wow, that that's a great fight. Um, man, Tank is unbelievable talent. Ryan's got a way above average hand speed. He's got the reach on him. Um, conventional wisdom, obviously, I'm leaning towards Tank. I just, I just think, especially as the rounds go on more, he just becomes more and more of a synchronized killer, you know, where he's not going to miss and he's not getting hit. You know, I don't think Garcia's faced somebody of his caliber, but at the same time, I don't think Tank has faced somebody like Garcia long with that type of speed and range. So I'm very interested in this fight, you know. I think it's a good fight, 50-50. Um, you know, styles make fights. We'll see if the rehydration, you know, clause has something to do with Ryan, if it affects him, or we'll see, you know, if not, we'll see. I love, I love this fight happening. The reason that Ryan is so confident that he can knock him out is because sometimes when it takes Tank a little bit of time to get close to these dudes and trying to get close to him, sometimes he gets touched. Santa Cruz touched him a little bit. Barrios was touching him a little bit. And I think Ryan feels like you're going to have to get close to me. You know, and Ryan always catching people on the way in with that, that left hook. I think he's banking on catching them on the way in, which is possible. That's like my worry for Tank in the fight. My biggest worry for Ryan is that Tank is going to get to him first. Tank is like twitchy and quick and fast. And, you know, he be moving around. And like that, the way he knocked out Roley was like, this dude was moving to his right off the ropes, out the way, and just boom, like stopped him off that one shot. I think it's a close fight, and I can see Tank eventually getting to him, but he might, he just might have to get up to do it. There's enough power in the ring that if somebody just get touched with something decent, that could really get the party started. I'll tell everybody, uh, if you don't know how to use it, um, height don't fight. It's just a distance from the feet to the top of your head. Um, Tank is very smart, and because he's a smaller man, doesn't mean it's a disadvantage, you know what I mean? Um, I got it playing out pretty much like Floyd and, and Corrales, you know, Tank being Floyd. Uh, we're going to get him out of there um, six or seventh round. All right. I don't, think, I don't think Ryan can take the infliction. I've been so back and forth with this fight, but if I just had, if I had to pick, like, I'm like 50 50 for real, but I'm really like 50.5% and then like 49.5% in favor of Tank. Favor of Tank, just like like by just like this midget, just because the fact that it, it, like when you box for twelve rounds, if you box for twelve rounds, you gotta versus a guy like Tank, you gotta be perfect because it, he can really just be lulling you to sleep the whole time. But you don't know when he's gonna come with his punch, it's like when he's gonna try to throw the power punch and try to catch you. And he might see something, you know, round one or round two, but he might not exploit it until round six or something. You know what I'm saying? So. But I know at the same time, I know Ryan Garcia has the skill and he has the length enough to, if he does box perfect for 12 rounds, he can win. Like, and I know he's able to do that. He has the skill to do it. I get the slight edge to take this because, like, I feel like Ryan might one time just, you know, step out with his hands too low or something or get too aggressive, you know, and take catching on like I did Roley or something. So, like, I don't know. I, I get the slightest edge to Tank. The slightest edge. I think Tank has a slight edge, but with that fight, whoever lands first will win. It's a tough one. It's a 50-50 fight. Um, I will be tuning in. You say the, the first one lands, you win. Do you think there's going to be multiple knockdowns? Do you think this might be just a one-hit or quitter from one side or the other? I really don't see there being multiple knockdowns. They both have power enough where it will be a one hitter quitter no matter who lands <laughs> that's i mean that's why people want to watch it because it's one of those fights um honestly i got a 50 50 i don't got a winner yet i think uh, it's all up for grabs that's the beautiful thing about the sport of boxing you know one shot can end it all you can win the whole fight like the whole uh like the fight that happened with uh fundora and uh and uh that other guy but mendoza you know my point exactly him going in there being the b-side and uh, one shot was all it took. So I've been, I've been flip-flopping on this fight in my mind uh, for a long time. My head and my heart are, are, are at, at ends right now in terms of who I think is going to win. My head is going with Gervonta, which I think most people in the boxing community are. Um, but my heart is with Ryan. I, I, I can see Ryan getting him, I can see, especially early on. because the, 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 the power of Ryan is shocking. It's the speed and it's the, 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 you, you never felt a shot like that. You never know you can take it until you take it. Um, or you don't. So... But my final pick will be Gervonta Davis. There's so many variables to this fight that I really don't know what's going to happen. 
We've never seen Javante hit by somebody like Ryan Garcia. We've never been, we've never seen Ryan get hit by somebody like Tank Davis. We've never seen them have to dig deep and do something different. Like right, when Tank hurt his hand against Isaac Cruz, we saw him have to box. But he wasn't really threatened in that fight. Ryan's a threat. But as of right now, I feel like Tank's boxing is a little underrated. And I get concerned when Ryan throws that check left hook because he drops his right hand a lot. He holds his chin high, which also Javante's got to jump to hit him, but it is what it is. He called Mario Barros and knocked him out. So as of today, I'm going to say Javante by stoppage.